Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today I'm going to be looking at the fourth down plays from uh, the Bears, Trubisky, all of us on offense uh, versus the Chiefs. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, for some reason, the tape's up early. Usually it comes up Tuesday. So uh, I was just happened to be looking, and thankfully I did because tape is up, so that's nice. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of... Uh, noise, um, a lot of talks about our fourth down plays. Um, I think that's something people talk about all year, especially with the red zone. Um, more just, you know, our money plays. And so um, there's three that we want to take a look at. And so we'll go ahead and get that started. So hopefully this won't take too long. So this first one was uh, fourth and four. Uh, this was the goal line play. We end up going to Allen Robinson here. So we uh, run out of empty set. They bring everybody up to the line. Been blitzing us all night. We were expecting a blitz. So we got a blitz. We had one late dropper across the middle. But this was going to Allen Robinson the whole time. Uh, fade to the back of the end zone. And the ball uh, was a little bit too much of a bullet. Not enough of, of a lob. You, know, you can see that you wanted a little more air on that. Um because their cornerback is able to get underneath it and play it. And it's right at his hand level. That's something you probably want to put up a little higher. But um, I think a lot of people are talking about the play call as well. You can see there's not a lot going on here. It's kind of a fade route as well by Horstead. Kind of a fade route on the other side too. And then there's a slant in the middle. Now, the slant would a uh, been perfectly fine especially if you got a blitz but they have a late dropper uh for that reason so they take away that easy middle throw there was good coverage anyway um so for what we were doing you know it wasn't a lot you could do there but as far as you know utilizing your space putting your trips to the short side like using your space i don't think it was great especially if you're doing double fade and we haven't really shown to be great at running fades anyway now a trail route would have made more sense here if you would have slanted and then had a double slant or a trail uh you see miller take um uh, uh juke step and and try to fade out i think something more like a trail route would have made sense there but and we don't have a ton of uh, goal line, you know, plays to look at over the year. But we know that the few that we have had haven't been great. And that's just the case of Trubisky um, and Nagy trying to go to the guy that they continue to force it to all year. And and that's fine. He's a 50-50 guy. You give him a shot. I just think the ball wasn't placed that great. All right. So now this is the fourth and long that a lot of people were uh, – like clamoring about it was like why would Trubisky throw it that short when it's that long and then people were like well who designed the play and all this other stuff so we see checks it down it's nowhere near I think we got 11 yards the thing is though is like I said when you watch it on TV you can't see the full play it's not like everybody ran for five yards there's vertical concepts as well it's just a case of who Trubisky decides to throw it to. Um, but that doesn't mean the concepts are great, but let's not act like it was just short route. So we did have a short route after a delayed chip. We actually had them on both sides, including Allen Robinson, I believe. Uh, I believe that's Allen Robinson. Uh, yeah, that's him. I don't want to be wrong on that. Um, so you had chip releases on both sides because you knew they were blitzing. And they did run short. Now, downfield, I can't even tell you exactly what it is. It looked uh, a little bit like a corner. Right oh, it looked like they both were running um, post flags, which is kind of weird, especially when they're stacked together. But they run them at different depths. So you'll see Miller bend inside and uh, bend it out. Uh, and then Tariq does the same thing. Creates a little bit of space, but the thing is, uh, it's tw 24 yards to go. They got everybody backed up, and that takes a long time to get that ball out. Now, I will say the one route that could have picked it up was Tariq Cohen's. 
especially like at this point because they this safety is in a position and and right now where I pause it they're rallying because he already threw the ball but either way the safety was in a flat-footed position against Tariq Cohen where he would not have been able to break on him heading to the outside but again that's a really long developing play which is kind of what you need in fourth and 24 and so this one is kind of a lose-lose situation as we'll look at the uh pass protection and everything they blitz a lot of people and it wasn't too bad i mean daniels definitely got beat but they picked it up now trubisky could have stayed in the pocket for a little bit more time but he moved uh towards outside the pocket towards the unblocked person and then also uh, he moved over to make that throw if he steps up, he can come down the middle. But again, that that's a long throw, and that's a, a lot of time that it takes. So it's hard when you can't watch him back uh, side by side. But at that point when he makes that throw, uh, when he's about to make that throw, oh, sorry, <laughs> Tariq Cohen is bending uh, on his post before he breaks outside. So. Not much anyone could do there. Um, I wouldn't say a great developed play or, you know, design play. And um, now it is weird to me that Trubisky just doesn't take a shot, whether it's bad or not. At that point, you had nothing to lose. I mean, we already out of playoffs. It's 4th and 24. The game's already over. Like, But that's just a microcosm to me when he never wants to take a shot or never – wants to uh, do something outside of the read that he knows he wants to go to. And so here's the other fourth down. The ball ends up coming out short. It's about fourth and eight. Um, that was incomplete, wasn't intercepted. But as you can see, so we got a trips, and it's basically somewhat of a four vert. Uh, well, not exactly a four vert. Actually, I don't know what that, <laughs> but, uh, w but we've seen us do this sometimes where we run multiple people bending, uh, bender is what we call it. So usually in the four vert, you get one bender, which is here, but we want two. Well, that looks kind of like an out. I don't know what this is. I'm not going to lie to you. And the ball's out before I can even really see the routes, but it looks like we ran out. It looks like an out and an out, a post and a post, which is interesting. But you can see you had a guy that you probably should have went to. And the blitz is coming. And the feet aren't set, and it's just a bad throw. So I actually, the concept there, I wasn't too mad at. Uh, we did create some space, a lot more space than we usually do. And I think uh, the route combo did give you a chance. Now it's 11 seconds in the game. Doesn't matter a whole bunch, but you know. So the feet aren't set. As I said before, when the feet aren't together, the accuracy is real off. We'll watch again. Like I said, they, they brought heat. A lot of heat. Yeah, made it tough on them. And that's what it is. All right, so those were the fourth down plays from the previous game that everybody was kind of talking about. So there you have it. You can judge for yourself. Um, to me... As I've said many times, it's a mix of uh, everybody if you want to talk about who's to blame. But it, as I mentioned, it is it's that same thing with Trubisky where he is going to do what's safe at the end of the day. So, um, he, Or I wouldn't even say safe because the last few games his stuff has been safe. He's going to go where he's comfortable. And whether that's a dangerous forced play to Allen Robinson or someone, or whether that's just a check down 
because he doesn't feel comfortable putting the ball in the air. He's going to do what's comfortable for him. So, um, and that's what it is. And the play design definitely needs a revamp as well. So all of the above for me. Uh, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, subscribe, share around, get the conversation started. Remember, stay up and bear down.